Today we're going to do a little leg workout. Uh, I know a lot of us are struggling without um, being able to use gyms and moving heavy weights around. Uh, so we're going to have to get a little creative here and uh, make, make use of gravity. So one way to do that is switching from two legs to one leg. So that's going to make you know gravity a lot harder on us. That's going to um, force our muscles to work a lot harder. Also being on one leg, it's going to also get the, stabilize, the smaller stabilizing muscles that we often forget. So we're still going to emphasize you know, the glutes. Uh, the quads, hamstrings in this workout, but we're also getting a lot of stabilizing muscles by just staying on one foot. So this will be quick, uh, no weight needed. So we're just gonna bounce on one foot. And all we're gonna do, uh, whenever we're bouncing on one foot, you know, you might lose your balance. You can have a wall near you or a chair near you, something to help, um, you know, keep you grounded. But focus your eyes on one fixed spot right out in front of you that's gonna help keep your balance. So we're gonna start with just the squat. So with this one, we're gonna grab the floor with our feet, um, straight line from our tailbone up to our head. And all you're gonna do is use your arms to counterbalance. We're just gonna hinge back at the hips while our knees bend. So we don't have to go all the way down on this. A lot of us don't have the mobil mobility to yet. So start with just small ones. Down and up. <sighs> Show you guys some different angles. <sighs> We're gonna hit eight here. We're halfway through. You got some different angles here. Let's do two more. <sighs> nice. We're going to switch to the other foot here. Remember, fix your eyes one spot. Leg out in front. Hips hinge back while your knee bends. Drop the butt. And push down. Push the floor down and back. Really extend that hip at the top. <sighs> Again, if you're having trouble with balance, you can feel free to touch something on the side. That's going to help. <sighs> And as you get more mobile and a little stronger, you should be able to work on your depth, get a little deeper. Otherwise, you can use your arms in front to counterbalance. Remain really getting the quad, really getting the butt here. Let's finish one more rep. Good. Next, we're going to go back to our first foot. So we're going to grab the floor of their foot. Same concept, one leg balance. So, uh, so that first exercise kind of took the place of what a squat would be. So we made ourselves, you know, we uh, added an additional challenge by going to one leg since we don't have heavy weights to work with. We're going to do the same thing now with the deadlift. So instead of picking up heavy weight, we're going to switch to one leg and do a hip hinge here. So we're going to grab the floor with one foot, pretend someone ties a rope around your hips, and they're pulling your butt back. So you're pulling your hips back. We're not rounding our spine to get down. Still straight from our tailbone to our head. Hips hinge back. Kick this foot back. That's going to help get your hips back. Then from there, you're going to come up, bring this foot forward. That's going to help shoot your hips forward. So think your hips hinge back. The glute, the hamstrings expand and contract. Glutes and hamstrings expand and contract. We're still sticking with eight. I'll show you guys some different angles. Focus your eyes on one fixed spot as we do these. Down. And up. remember, I like to get my arms going the opposite way, just like we're running. Focus your eyes on one fixed spot. Let's do one more. Really shoot the hips forward. Don't think down and back. Think hips back, hips forward. Go, we're going to do this uh, last foot right here. So we're going to hit hinge back. And up. Hinge back. And up. You'll feel all those stabilizing muscles all the way down through the calf working, just to keep you balanced, keep you away from falling. But the primary muscles that are working, uh, you'll, you'll actually feel your butt and your hamstring expand as it goes back. Those muscles stretch out and they contract. Actively push the floor down and back. Shoot your hips forward. If you're having a lot of trouble with balance, you can use this leg as a kickstand. You can tap on the ground. You can tap on the ground in front. Tap behind. Tap your foot. We're not putting our weight on it. So our weight is still on this leg primarily, but you can tap it just like a little kickstand. Last one, expand and contract. So your legs should be on fire with that. Eight reps of each. And now we're going to burn out. We're going to do, now that we're fatigued, we're going to do two, uh, two legs for each one. We're going to do squats again. With two legs, we can exaggerate the range of motion and um, get even better form. So heels under our shoulders, toes 30 degrees out. We're going to squat all the way down. We're going to push our knees apart, keep your chest up and down. Show you guys some different angles here.
Just a good old body weight squat. Some big mistakes I see here, people's weight creep to the front of their foot and in, so your knees come forward and in, and we're squatting here, push your knees out, hips back. Make sure we're driving through the heels. Make sure that this hip crease goes below the knee. Make sure we're dropping down below parallel without rounding our spine. We're here, drive up. Lock out hard, squeeze your abs, your glutes, quads. Good, so that was the two-legged uh, squat. Shake it out, take a deep breath. We're gonna end back with the uh, toe touches or kind of our version of non-weighted deadlifts. So we're gonna bring our feet now together. We got a soft knee bend a little bit, but predominantly it's the hips going way back, hips going forward. Hips going back, hips going forward. Let's get some arms going. We'll touch our toes, touch the sky. Show you guys some different angles here. Almost done here. These are more of a burnout. So again, we did eight reps through on the one-legged work, but these are only do at least 30 seconds. Just burn out because we're going for speed. So we're not necessarily counting our reps. We're just going for speed here. <sighs> hips go back, hips go forward. I want your hips moving at least six to eight inches back. These muscles all expand and they contract on the way up. <sighs> so that was a good complete lower body workout. We mainly got our butt, our quads, our hamstrings. We also got the stabilizing muscles, inner and outer leg, all the way down to the calf. We're doing all the one legged work. Um, so with that, what I want you guys to do uh, that's good for the first day just to get used to that routine you just feel a little burn there let your body adapt and recover to that we don't have to do it tomorrow we can do it on you know a 48 hour plan you can do it every other day but eventually i want you to run through that video again so we'll run through that video twice so after you're done click repeat and start over start that routine again and then eventually build up to the point where you can run through it three times i want your goal to be run through that video five times you can take as long a rest you need in between each each cycle of the video go grab some water um, but eventually you get to the point where you can run that video five times, get your squat way down there. By the time you do that, you'll have, uh, you'll have the nice, nice, strong sculpted legs you want.